The PREMAC principle is a psychological principle that states that a more desirable activity can be used to motivate a person to engage in a less desirable activity. For example, if a child prefers playing outside over doing homework, the promise of outdoor play can be used to encourage the completion of homework. David Premack introduced this principle in 1965. His research focused on understanding the behaviors of animals and humans, leading to the conclusion that high probability behaviors, those that are naturally more likely to occur, can be used as reinforcers for low probability behaviors, those that are less likely to occur. This concept challenged the traditional notion of reinforcement, which primarily relied on external rewards like food or praise by showing that the activities themselves could serve as effective reinforcers. Here are two examples of the pre-MAC principle. First, consider a classroom setting. A teacher notices that students are more interested in using computers than reading books. To encourage reading, the teacher allows students to use computers only after they have spent a certain amount of time reading. The desire to use computers motivates the students to read more. Second, in a home setting, a parent might use television time as a reward for completing chores. If a child loves watching TV but dislikes cleaning their room, the parent can say that TV time is only available after the room is cleaned, thus using the preferred activity to encourage the less preferred one. Let's look at three benefits of the PREMAC principle. Firstly, it leverages intrinsic motivation, using activities that individuals naturally enjoy to promote behaviors they are less inclined to perform. This makes the reinforcement process more natural and effective. Secondly, it is versatile and can be applied in various settings, from classrooms to workplaces to homes, making it a flexible tool for behavior management. Thirdly, the PREMAC principle encourages the development of self-regulation skills. By linking preferred activities with less preferred tasks, individuals learn to manage their behavior to achieve desired outcomes. Now let's explore three criticisms of the PREMAC principle. Firstly, the principle may not be universally applicable. Some individuals might not have a clear preference for certain activities, making it challenging to find effective reinforcers. Secondly, it can lead to an over-reliance on extrinsic motivation. If individuals always need a preferred activity to motivate them, they might struggle to develop intrinsic motivation for less preferred tasks. Thirdly, the PREMAC principle might not address the root causes of why certain behaviors are less preferred. Instead of fostering genuine interest or enjoyment in less preferred activities, it merely uses more preferred activities as a temporary motivator. To learn about other common concepts in psychology, check out the videos on the screen or the links in the pinned comment.